to another vlog. Today is Friday the 10th. Wait, is it the 10th? I never remember. Okay, yeah, it's the 10th. Right now, I am about to go out. It is currently quarter to nine in the morning and I have an appointment at the orthodontist this morning at 9.30. And I don't know why I made my appointment at that time because I gotta leave earlier than usual because of like traffic, you know, morning traffic. So it was a little bit of a struggle for me to wake up this morning because I was up late last night editing a tutorial. So right now I'm just like, oh, I really want to go back to bed. But I can't be late for this appointment because the last time I went, I was late and I felt so bad. Like I left on time, but just the traffic. So I have to leave like extra early today. Who's texting me? grocery shopping today but I haven't written up my list and I don't like to go grocery shopping without a list because then I end up buying so many like unnecessary things I have something stuck in my eye anyways I gotta go so let's go oh hello Okay, so I just finished with my orthodontist appointment. Same story as usual. It's like my bottom teeth, like they're not moving properly. It's not that they're not moving properly, but they're just like being really stubborn. So it's like slowing the process down. And because my bottom teeth aren't... What is this taxi doing reversing into me? Because they're not moving the way that they are supposed to be moving. It's like slowing down the whole process of like my top teeth moving as well. Sorry, I'm like really sleepy right now. I don't know why, but when I was in the chair getting my adjustment today, I just felt really like drained. Like I wanted to like sleep. I'm kind of bummed because like, what are we in now? We're in... October, we're in August. February 2019 marks two years with my braces, 24 months, which is what was the expected duration of the treatment was 24 months. So, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Yeah, so six months was meant to be the like projected date for me to get my braces off, but the way that things seeming to be at the moment that may not be the case so I'm kind of like disappointed in that yeah I don't know just it's kind of like a bit of a letdown because when you get so hyped up about something and then it doesn't get a plan it's like uh but you know what can I do I can only do so much so yeah that is what is happening with my braces they don't really bother me too much like I like my braces like I think they're pretty cute but I can't wait to get them off just so I don't have to like worry about them anymore and like yeah it's like an extra effort to have braces obviously but I just can't wait to get them off anyway right now I am um, I don't really know where I'm going like I do but I want to go get a coffee but the place that I want to go is on the opposite side of this main road that I'm currently on and I don't know how to get there. Okay, I made it. Okay, I have my coffee. I have a muffin. I haven't had breakfast because I typically don't like to have breakfast before my appointments just because like it's easy to keep my teeth clean that way, you know. But now I'm going to head home and um, go and figure out what groceries I need to buy. I should have organized myself like better. I was meant to do this last night, like have a look and actually see what I need to grab in terms of groceries, but I just got caught up editing and I was so exhausted because I had barely any sleep the night before, so kind of doing things the other way around. So it is currently quarter past 11, I was going to say quarter past 12, quarter past 11. And right now I just finished writing up a list for groceries that I need to buy. Typically I put it in my phone but um 
but I feel like it's easier to just write it out sometimes so I can see it all in front of me. Yes, I'm like extra when it comes to writing lists and being prepared, but I feel like that's just how I function. So I'm gonna head off to the grocery store now. Where's my coffee? I didn't finish my coffee, did I? Where did I put it? Oh, it's outside. I was drinking my coffee and having my breakfast on the patio. I am also not going to forget to bring these things, the reusable bags. I swear I always forget. Anyways, I think I have everything I need, so let's go. Oh my goodness me. So busy. It's so funny like how crazy people get over parking spots like man I'm not indicating I'm not gonna take your spot you don't have to be so like I don't know it's just funny how people like get real crazy over their spots and it's like just chill out like just wait I'm not gonna steal it you were there first so you can have it that's all good why is it so busy is everybody here to do their grocery shopping on a Friday do I usually grocery shop on a Friday I don't think I do. Oh wow. Okay. Interesting. Well, I guess I'm going around again. Honestly, was I like naive and thinking that 11.30 a.m. on a Friday wouldn't be busy? Because I really didn't think that it would be, but I don't know. Where is a spot? I still can't find a spot. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. For real, this has never happened to me before where I've been like driving around for 10 minutes trying to find a parking spot. This is quite ridiculous right now. <gasps> is that one? It is! Yes! Oh shit. Don't you hate! I hate it! When you pull into a spot and there's a trolley. I gotta get out and move this. Cause Actually, I do have to move it, but it's okay. My car is like in the spot, so we good. Let's go. Honestly, it's hot in this car. <sighs> I just finished grocery shopping. I ended up buying a lot of stuff. I definitely bought a lot more than I usually do. Oh my goodness. It's hot. Anyways, I'm going to head home right now. So busy here, honestly. Why did I wear a hoodie today? It's so cute, my vibe. I can feel your energy from two planets away. I got my drink, I got my music. I think I'm gonna have to get changed. It's so hot, I'm like sweating right now. All right, I literally just dumped my groceries inside and like put the things that need to be cold. Oh shoot, somebody's calling me. Hey. Anyways, like I was saying, um, I just left my place because CJ asked me to pick him up to take him somewhere because I'm pretty sure he's going out tonight. It has been so long since I've like been out like to a club to like drink and dance and all that and I used to do it a lot but it's honestly been years so whenever I get invited I'm like okay yeah sure I'll go but then I think about it I'm like actually no I just don't want to have to deal with like the day after. <laughs> I feel like I'm such an old an old lady now but yeah that's what i'm doing i gotta go and pick him up drop him off to somebody's house and since i'm gonna be out i think i have a package to go and pick up so i may as well do that now today is like not how i intended today to be i actually had intended to um film but since it's already 1 p.m and i haven't done any of that i'm probably just going to some things done I guess and then I also have to finish uh, editing the tutorial that I was editing last night I pretty much finished it it's just like I gotta upload it and add in bits and pieces but for the most part it's finished I might try to go 
to the gym today. We'll see how I feel. I feel like I wanted to go to the gym this morning, but I really needed to get my grocery shopping out of the way because if I didn't do it now, then I wouldn't have time to do it until next week because I'm working over the weekend. So um, that's what the go is with that. Looky who we have here. Oh, what it is. Wait, let me fix this. Hold up. Give me a sec. Hey, you know that street? You know we took Elma there? Oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. Oh! Yes! Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I've been down so long, they look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my bed. Straight up to my bed. All old to you, hey? It's not like new gang shit, please. Fucking hell, CJ. <laughs> Like on certain songs. Yeah, it's because the bass is so deep. Not deep, but like it's strong. <laughs> you keep touching it. <laughs> oh, oh, <I> <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Yeah, like, we've been touching this. Or? No, uh, it was like a specific yeah. word that you used, and I was like, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, it's just my shirt for later tonight. You have a good afternoon. Have fun. Yeah, Alright, laters. Okay, so I can't listen to this song, man. In My Feelings by Drake. I swear that song got ruined for me by the Shiggy dance. Just because, like, uh, it's everywhere. But, anyways, um, my camera battery is about to die. On the way home, I'm gonna, like, go past where my parcel locker is so I can pick up this package. Wait, is it? Do I have a parcel to pick up or is it saying that it's gonna be delivered to my house? Oh yeah, I do. I don't even know what it is. Like, I don't think I've ordered anything. So I'm gonna have to find out what this is, but my camera's gonna die. So we'll see how much of this I can vlog. Your locker is to the right. Okay, so I really don't know who this package is from because I didn't order anything. So I'll have to open it when I get home. But I did get myself some sushi just because I'm kind of hungry and I haven't had lunch. So it's about to be 2 p.m. Kind of need to eat. So I'm going to drive home now. I just got into the house. And as you can see, I didn't even have time to put away my groceries. I dumped them on the floor and just put all the cold things <laughs> into here real quick but first before i get into that i want to eat because i'm hungry i just got a couple rolls of sushi we have tuna and avocado and chicken and avocado and you can't forget the japanese mayo this stuff like makes it taste so good so i had sushi the other day and i posted it on snap and somebody messaged me and asked me like how do you eat sushi with braces i mean granted i probably have something stuck in my teeth right now like always um but I don't know, I don't really get affected by foods, like with my braces. I know some people can't eat certain foods with their braces because it hurts too much. But even after an adjustment today, my teeth and my mouth, like it hurts, but I can still eat like whatever I want. I feel like it's totally mind over matter for me. So even though my teeth hurt and yeah, it does hurt to bite down, I'm just like, no, I want to eat what I want to eat. For me, I feel like I have a really, really high pain tolerance. So, I mean, even when I got my braces on, yeah, it hurt, but I was still like wanting to eat what I wanted to eat. It really just depends on your own pain tolerance and like what you can handle. But for me, braces, they aren't too painful. So I thought it was interesting that someone was like, how do you eat sushi with your braces? I don't know, just put it in my mouth and eat it. 
So I bought these today and I had never tried them before and I already like them. They taste so good. It's like a mix of, as you can see, regular potato, um, taro and sweet potato. The only thing I have about like chip packets is like how empty they are when you open them. Like you think you're getting so much and then you open the bag and it's like, oh, is that it? But these taste pretty good. I got these from the health food section at the grocery store. Since I'm showing you this, I may as well show you what groceries I bought today. Let me just organize the ones that I put into the fridge already because they are a bit of a mess. I needed some more butter, but I wanted to try something different and it says it's a healthy alternative. So I don't know. I'm trying to like get back into my healthy eating again because I, I feel like I do eat pretty healthy, but I'm so into my snacks that I really want to get out of the habit of like constantly eating Oreos like I have been for the past few weeks. I didn't buy any today because I don't want to like tempt myself I also got some eggs um, Some yogurt. I usually get this one from Activia. It's just the plain vanilla one If I ever feel like something sweet after dinner, I usually will have like some yogurt and I also like to have this in the mornings with my granola I think that's what it's called granola. I'm pretty sure or muesli whatever when you like to call it Um, I usually have that for breakfast, so I always like to have some yogurt. Also, these fell out. Strawberries. Look how big these are though. They're massive. It was like a dollar for this punnet. There's only eight strawberries, but but they're huge. So I needed strawberries. And then in this bag, may as well pull everything out. I got some satay flavored tofu. Because I do like tofu, but typically I like to have it with like rice and vegetables, so I want it to be flavored as well. So I get like the pre-marinated one. I know it looks kind of weird in the packet, but it tastes really good. I also got some halloumi because I love halloumi. I also got some breast fillets, chicken breast fillets. Usually I will like add some type of like marinade to this and just eat it with vegetables and rice. And then I got this actually because I typically try not to eat so much rice. But I saw this and I was like, okay, cauliflower, sweet potato and broccoli rice. I just wanted to try it. I don't know, how do you cook this? Oh, you put it in the microwave. That should be interesting. Maybe I'll try that tonight. I'll see how I feel. Of course, I bought some toilet paper because, you know, everybody needs that. What else did I get? I got some bananas, some lemons, avocados because I have missed having my avocado on toast in the mornings. That's typically all I get as like my regular vegetables and fruits that I buy. Just because if I feel like something in particular, then I will go out and get it on the day because I just want it to be fresh and I don't know what I'm going to feel like on specific days. So that's how that goes. I also just got some baby wipes, um, bin liners because now I have to buy them since the grocery store doesn't give out plastic bags anymore. I've got to buy plastic bags to put in my bins. Standard domestic stuff like, like a scourer to wash the dishes with, I don't know. And another bin liner. I like to line my garbage bins outside. I also bought this because I am going to try and wash these shoes again. I think I might do that straight after this, but um, I just wanted to see if it would work. I was looking at everything and this looked like the best option that I could find. So it says that it brightens and removes stains. So if I want these to be crispy white, we're gonna see if this works. I hope it does. I really hope it does, but I'll do that after this because it looks, Pretty sunny outside. I also had to buy some more body wash and this is the one that I use. It's from Lux in the scent Magical Spell. They have like heaps of different kinds, but this one, oh man, if you could smell it, it smells so good. What else do we have? We have bread. I'm just like throwing all of my groceries on the floor here. That's okay. Um, stocked up on more soy milk. You guys wouldn't believe how much milk I go through just by myself. I'm constantly having to buy milk all the time. I also bought coconut water, which I haven't tried this brand, but I just saw it on the end of an aisle and I was like, okay, you're coming home with me. I also got these. I don't know why, but I was really feeling like jelly. And I hear that these are good because they are low on sugar and calories. So I'm trying to find a way to like satisfy my sweet cravings without having to have so many sweets, if you know what I mean. I also got sweetener. This is the one that I use from Equal. I know people say that this is like bad for you. I just can't use sugar because I have so many coffees throughout the day. I just feel like if I had regular like raw sugar in my coffees, man, like it wouldn't be good. Organic, raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. Um, these 
these are also like what I eat to curb my sweet cravings because you guys don't understand like I am such a fiend for chocolate but I feel like these satisfy me so I'm back on these again no more Cadbury coated Oreos or s'mores Cadbury chocolate like we we've said goodbye to that and then I just got a couple of sauces teriyaki chicken and satay chicken sauce yeah, that's everything. Now I have to like pick everything up off the floor and put it away. Alrighty guys, here we go. Back again for round two. Let's see whether I can get these even wider than they are. I mean, they are clean, but I feel like they can get cleaner. Like there's some little stains left on them if you can tell. Not gonna put them in the bag this time because apparently I wasn't supposed to do that the first time. But let's see how this goes. What does this say? You need 60 grams plus your detergent. So I'm assuming you put like a capful. Oh shit. Of course this happened because I was having such a hard time opening it. <laughs> I spilled it everywhere. This is what happens when you don't have somebody to hand it to to open when you can't open a jar. You like struggle. To do it yourself. <laughs> okay, so this is the measuring thing, I guess. Ah, oh, this is so... Man, so regular wash, quick 30. I always usually put my own things on a higher heat, but we're just going to leave this as is. Okay, so while that's going, I have all of this to clean up. And honestly, if I'm going to vacuum this, I may as well vacuum the rest of the house. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna do that right now. Honestly, how's this for a sick joke? Um, four boxes of Cadbury coated Oreos that are all empty. I'm about to throw these in the recycling bin, but I probably went through these like a week, two weeks. Yeah, I have a problem, I told you. They just finished washing. Oh, I mean, okay. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> you wanna know my honest opinion? They look exactly the same. <laughs> I can't say that I think it looks whiter and brighter um, to me, it just like, yeah, looks the same. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and put these out in the sun again, so I'll have to see how they look once they're completely dry, but I guess it was worth a shot. So I totally forgot about this package that I picked up earlier. I don't even know like who it's from or what's inside, but um, let's have a look. Oh, it has my name on it. Sasu? Is that how you pronounce it? I need to figure out how to pronounce this. Mm, okay, it's skincare stuff, which lately I've been in need of that. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Gold Wave of Face Cleansing Bar. Oh, that's cool. Oh, is this? Oh, it's squishy. I don't want to like ruin that. It's very difficult to do things one handed, I swear. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Wow, that's pretty. I'm gonna have to figure out where this came from so I can thank them properly, but this is cool. I'm gonna check out their Instagram to see what they're all about. Anyways, it is currently 10 to six in the evening. So it's that time where I need to think about what I'm gonna have for dinner. It's so funny because you guys really seemed to enjoy watching me make sinigang. To be honest, like I'm no like professional when it comes to cooking. I just like know what I feel like eating and I'll just like learn how to make it and since I don't have anybody else to cook for like I just make myself really basic meals most of the time but I do have that cauliflower rice what is it cauliflower sweet potato and broccoli rice so I think I'm just gonna have that do I want tofu or chicken I want chicken so that's what we're gonna make today all right guys I just diced up some onion real quick and I'm just frying that in the pan first so I've diced up my chicken breast and I also have some carrots here to add in as well at the end. So now I'm just going to let this meat cook, obviously, get it nice and brown and then I'm going to add this in later. So like I said, I'm also going to be adding the carrot. If I had like snow peas or something, I'd probably add that in as well. but. I didn't buy any. Plus, I'm gonna be cooking this. I'm probably I'm probably only gonna heat up, I don't know, half of this. How much is in this? 250 grams. I probably won't eat the whole thing in one go, so I'm just gonna like halve it 
pretty sure this will be enough for like two nights for me as well. So yeah, it kind of worked out. That's the thing is like trying to like think about what I'm going to eat in advance. I'm not really for that. I typically don't know what I feel like eating until it's the last minute and I want to eat something. I'm not much of like a meal prepper or like a meal planner because like what if I don't feel like that on that specific day, you know? If I'm cooking one night and I know I'm not going to have time to cook the next evening, then typically I'll cook extra so then I can already have a meal ready for me in advance. That's just how I like to do things anyway. Now that the meat's brown and I've cooked the carrots a little, I'm just going to go ahead and the sauce on top. I love saute sauce. Like that peanut flavor is everything. So pretty much all I have to do now is just let this sit and simmer for a few minutes. I'm just getting everything like nice and coated in that sauce. Then I gotta go ahead and heat this up in the microwave and then yeah that's going to be my dinner sorted so i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done so this is how it turned out you guys it actually smells really good and i had a bit of a taste of the um cauliflower sweet potato broccoli rice <laughs> and it is pretty nice so i am gonna eat because now my mouth is watering let me just dig into this <laughs> okay guys it is currently quarter past seven which is actually kind of getting late for me because i do have to wake up pretty early in the morning i look like an oily sweaty mess right now it's been a long day for me but i think i'm gonna call it a night now because i really do have to go and get ready for bed so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're still watching um what else oh if you have any questions about anything feel free to ask me i'm always happy to reply to your comments and answer any questions that you may have and with that being said i hope you guys are having a fabulous day and i'll catch you in my next video Please,